Hey guys, Sam here from keycommerce.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to set up conversion tracking for Google Ads for your Shopify store. This allows us to track the actual sales amounts from Google Ads in your Google Ads dashboard. This is my team and I's favorite method for tracking conversions and is really accurate because it actually pulls in the real amounts for the orders into your Google Ads account. Let's get into it. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is going to three different pages in this process. We're going to be going to our Google Ads account, we're going to be going to our Shopify store, and we're going to get this special code generator page built on our e-commerce website to get the complete snippet we need for our e-commerce conversion tracking. I'll talk about the reason you'll want this more robust tracking in a moment. First things first, we're gonna go here to our Google Ads account, go to goals, and we're going to click create a new conversion action. Now, we want to put this on our website, so we're going to click the website box here. Google Ads already has our store domain here because we verified and connected our store in an earlier video. So we'll just click scan. And now we're going to create a conversion goal here, but we're going to scroll down to choose to do it manually using a code. Now, if you're not very technical, please don't get too apprehensive about this. It's easy and I will show you exactly how to do a professional setup in just a few steps. This manual method is a much better and a much more thorough system for tracking your sales. So let's click here, add a conversion action manually and this side form will come up. We're going to select the purchase category here as that's what we want to track. You don't need to open this section up but I'm going to just to give you a bit more of an understanding of conversion actions. It's currently set as a primary action, which is what we want. The only reason you would want to do it as a secondary action is if you didn't want to count this towards your full conversions on Google Ads. And you don't want Google's optimization algorithms to try to optimize towards getting more of these conversions. But we do want it to be optimized towards the purchase action. So we're going to leave it as a primary. We'll enter Google a conversion name here. I'll just type in Google Ads purchase to clearly define what it is. And we're going to leave this as use different conversion values for each conversion. This is a very important part because we want to track the amount of each order. This is where the value of getting a more complete code snippet from our generator comes in, which we'll get in a moment. For the rest of these options, such as the count, which we'll leave as every, and these time windows, just leave them all at their default. Let's click done and we'll save and continue. Now, we're going to click over here to view the Google Tag Manager information. What we need from here is the conversion ID and the conversion label for this conversion action we've just set up. Let's copy this conversion ID first. Now, the link for this tool is below this video. It's keycommerce.com slash conversion tracking code generator. Completely free to use. This tool is perfect for getting a complete tracking for e-commerce purchases. We need to capture not only just when an order is made, but how much the order is for. So we'll paste the conversion ID first and then go back to Google Ads to get the conversion label. Paste it here and click get your conversion tracking code. And now it's generated the tracking code we need to install in our Shopify store. We're going to copy this. Again, this is more complete than what you would have gotten as a snippet from Google. It's actually going to track the amount that's going through, which is critical for your account. All right, now let's go to your Shopify store and we're going to go down here to settings. And here we're going to go down to customer events. Now click add custom pixel and we'll call it Google ads purchase. Now this doesn't need to be the same name, but I recommend the name stay the same for the sake of organization. Let's delete the default code here and we're going to paste in what we got from our key commerce conversion tracking code generator. Then we'll click save here and we're going to click connect. It's going to ask you to confirm and there you go. You are now connected and you're going to have a much more complete conversion tracking setup for your Google Ads account. That's it guys. Google Ads will now show the Shopify store sales in your Google Ads account. If you're still having trouble scaling up your Google Shopping ads, go and check out our Google Shopping course. It's completely free and it shows you everything you need to set up, optimize and scale your Google Shopping ads to over 100K per month in sales. I'll leave a link to that course down below. Also, if you're an e-commerce store owner that's already doing 20K per month in sales across your e-commerce store and you wanna to get to seven figures and beyond, book a time with my team and I. We scale e-commerce stores to seven figures and above with Google ads and Facebook ads and we can do that for you too. I'll leave a link to my calendar down below, book a time and I'd love to speak to you and learn how we can do this for your store. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.
Make sure to click here for the next video in the free course and I'll see you there.